Florida, a place where sunshine, sand, and questionable life choices come together. Today, we'll be covering this Sunshine State city where flip-flops are considered formal footwear and sunscreen is a legal requirement. A town not too far from some of the most beautiful golf beaches in North America. Light up a cigar and get on your sea cows, cause we're heading to Tampa, Florida. Jacob here. Welcome to Destinations Explained, a fun series I do that dives into destinations from around the world. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and comment down any places I missed. Once upon a time, long before Tampa became the bustling city it is today, the area was inhabited by Native American tribes like the Tocobaga and Calusa. They were living the good life, fishing in the beautiful Tampa Bay and soaking up that Florida sunshine. In the 16th century, along came the Spanish explorers led by Ponce de Leon. They claimed the land for Spain and named it Tampa, said to come from the Calusa language meaning sticks of fire, which may refer to the lightning in the area. But things really heated up when pirates started making their way into the picture. Fast forward a couple of centuries to the late 1800s when Tampa began to establish itself as a cigar making hub. A massive influx of Cuban immigrants brought their tobacco expertise to the city, and Tampa's cigar industry exploded like a lit firework. In 1898, the city found itself smack dab in the middle of the Spanish-American War. The US military set up shop in Tampa, transforming it into a bustling military hub. As the 20th century rolled around, the iconic Sunshine Skyward Bridge was built connecting Tampa to St. Petersburg and making it easier for visitors to enjoy the beautiful beaches and theme parks of the region. And I can't forget to mention the Gasparilla Pirate Festival, which still takes place every year, bringing out the inner pirate in all of us. So whether you're strolling along the Riverwalk, exploring Ybor City's colorful streets, or basking in the Florida sunshine, Tampa has a little bit of something for everyone. Today, Tampa has a population of around 400,000 people, and a total metro population over 3 million. Summer temperatures average a high of 91 degrees Fahrenheit to an average low of 75 degrees Fahrenheit, while winter temperatures average a high of 71 degrees Fahrenheit to an average low of 51 degrees Fahrenheit. There's no better place to kick off your Tampa itinerary than this famous neighborhood, known for its rich history, vibrant culture, and questionable decisions after dark. That's right, we're starting this list off with the Bourbon Street of Tampa in the historic district of Ybor City, where the cigar smoke is thick, the bars are popping, and the roosters are feisty. Stop by the renowned Florida's oldest eatery, Columbia Restaurant, during the day for some seriously good Cuban sandwiches. Or go over to 7th and Grove in the evening for cocktails and live music. And those are just two of many places to visit in Ybor. The neighborhood is full of unique boutiques, restaurants, nightclubs, and so much more. Just stay away from the Ybor shoe liquor. That guy's a freak. I don't think I've covered a city where the most popular tourist attractions is only five years old, but here we are. At the heart of the Heights District, we have a vibrant food hall transformed from a former streetcar storage facility. This remarkable conversion, as well as neighboring attractions, has breathed new life into the heart of the district at Armature Works. This trendy hangout caters to a diverse crowd. Whether you're with a group or your family, you'll find ample space to accommodate everyone. And with a plethora of exceptional restaurants and shops, there's always something enticing to return for, especially for anyone looking to grab a drink, whether you're a day drinker or having a night out. Next door, you'll find more restaurants, water taxis, kayaking, and waterworks park a riverfront park with a playground, picnicking, and splash pad for kids. You'll even find the beginning of our next destination. Waterworks just happens to be the start of this charming 2.6 mile waterfront promenade, taking you on a journey filled with picturesque views, delicious food, and fascinating history, all along the Tampa Riverwalk. During your journey, you'll encounter notable landmarks like the Star Center for Performing Arts with its stunning outdoor space Curtis Hickson Waterfront Park, featuring recreational facilities and live events, the Tampa Convention Center with its impressive outdoor area, as well as some places to eat, and near the end, Fort Brook Park, a tranquil urban park with inviting grassy grounds. Walking a couple of miles should be easy enough for anyone, 
but you can always look for a coast bike share station and bike around the river walk to get around faster. Last time I checked, it was about $20 for a day pass, or you can just pay by the minute. Wrapping around the river even more, you'll find another tourist attraction. Yeah, you might have noticed there's a lot of cool places along the water in this Floridian city. Who would have known? At the end of the river walk, just across Beneficial Bridge, lies Sparkman Wharf. This dynamic and vibrant piece of Tampa's downtown waterfront houses the Channelside Bay Plaza, with ground floor retail, an intimate dining garden, beer garden, and recreational lawn. Tourists come for the live music, endless dining options, and watching the cruise ships depart. Oh, and the aquarium's there. Now, you may be thinking, Jacob, my bank account is silently weeping in the corner. Can you maybe suggest something that doesn't involve me spending $30 on craft beer and poke bowls? And you know what? You're right. But we're staying by the water. Let's hop across the bay and get away from the city to this beautiful waterfront park with the playground, picnic areas, and stunning views of downtown. Ballast Point Park. This isn't a great swimming area, but it does have a splash pad, picnic tables, and a playground for the youngsters to enjoy on hot days. There's also a restaurant and a fishing pier that stretches for hundreds of feet into the bay. So you can get some great photos and maybe see some stingrays or dolphins. And if you visit towards the end of the day, you'll be treated to a spectacular sunset. Now let's head to the nature and recreational section of the video. You could start your outdoorsy day by grabbing a breakfast sandwich from the soon to be mentioned King State Cafe, or you can make a smarter choice with today's sponsor, Magic Spoon, a healthy cereal that tastes too good to be true. If you're like me, you check a second bag just to bring the world's best sugar-free cereal. I start my day off right with a bowl. The frosted flavor is my favorite. I may even just bring it with me to go on my adventure. No, Jacob, not like that. That's better. Click the link below to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use promo code VENTURE at checkout to get $5 off any order. Or go to magicspoon.com slash venture. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Click the link below and use the code VENTURE for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com slash venture to save $5 today. Now, back to the video. Starting the nature and recreational section of the video, just 30 minutes northeast of Tampa, you'll find a sprawling natural oasis filled with towering cypress trees, meandering boardwalks, and an abundance of wildlife at Lettuce Lake Park. The hammock trail loops most of the area in just over a mile, with well-kept trails and a 3,500-foot boardwalk with an observation tower providing scenic views of the Hillsborough River. It's kind of like Disney World, but instead of Mickey Mouse, you get a scaly, armored creature that wants to take a bite out of you. Just kidding, those swamp pumpies are super chill and pretty much just nap all day. Just don't pet them. Park ranger and volunteer-led nature education tours are available on weekdays as well. Canoe and kayak rentals are also available to provide up-close encounters with a variety of aquatic birds and wildlife. Alright, four places I've mentioned so far happen to be situated along the same river. But let's remember, we're in Florida. And when you're in Florida, the main attraction is definitely not the river. It's all about the beach, baby! There's hundreds of miles of white sandy shores less than an hour away. And to be honest, there's almost too much to choose. But today, I'm going with St. Pete Beach. The town stretches over a few miles with a variety of resorts, bars, restaurants, and residences. While most beaches in St. Pete and Clearwater have alcohol restrictions, you can still enjoy a drink. Just avoid bringing glass, use a koozie, and refrain from behaving like an unruly spring breaker. So swing by the nearby Publix grocery store and stock up on ice and a disposable cooler for your booze. Want to be a law-abiding citizen? Then stop by the Postcard Inn on the beach, a cute little hotel with a beachside restaurant, bar, and coffee shop. Parking is limited throughout the town and towing is no joke. So just be careful, read the signs, and check out their website if you need more info. Next up, located 25 miles up the coast in Palm Harbor, there's an expansive 210-acre Bayou Park, ideal for embarking on an exciting Gulf Coast adventure. This park boasts an array of amenities, including scenic walking trails, abundant wildlife, and more. Wall Springs Park. 
At just 1.2 miles, the Pinellas Trail leads to a viewing area and boardwalk that overlooks the serene natural spring, which historically served as a spa and bathing spot. Additionally, a remarkable 35-foot observation tower offers breathtaking panoramic views of the majestic Gulf of Mexico. Moreover, there's the delightful butterfly garden and a playground, adding to the park's charm and offering enjoyment for visitors of all ages. As always, you can find helpful links and other useful information in the description below. An hour north of Tampa on the coast, we have a state park that boasts the deepest freshwater cave system in the US, an abundance of protected species, and mermaids? Yeah, you heard that right, real life mermaids at Wikiwachi Spring State Park. Let's talk about the main attraction, the legendary Wikiwachi mermaids. These aquatic performers have mastered the art of underwater dancing. Picture a cross between the Little Mermaid and Cirque du Soleil as you watch from a 400 seat submerged theater. The main spring area features a sandy beach spot, water park slides, and dining and retail options. And the famous spring head is a first magnitude spring supplying 12 miles of Wikiwachi River perfect for an adventure on a riverboat cruise or in a kayak for rent, where you're bound to see West Indian manatees, alligators, otters, and a variety of fish. So if you're up for an adventure that's full of mermaids and wildlife that can potentially eat you, then this is the place to be. Lastly, one and a half hours east, we have 250 acres of botanical gardens and foliage in this national historic landmark. Along the rolling hills of citrus in Lake Wales, Florida, this destination continues to be one of the most remarkable and awe-inspiring attractions in Central Florida, Bach Tower Gardens. It features two hiking trails, 50 acres of gardens, the 20-room El Trio Estate, and of course, you can't miss the 205-foot Art Deco and Neo-Gothic Singing Tower Carolyn, which plays 30-minute bell concerts each day at 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Next to the tower, you can feed the koi fish at the pond, or head to one of the cafes to feed yourself. And in addition to a gift shop selling one-of-a-kind items and a kid-friendly children's garden, there are countless other amenities to check out. And if you want to plan a special date, pack a blanket and some lunch and have a romantic picnic in one of the many grassy fields. Don't feel like picnicking in a humid central Florida park? I don't blame you. Heading back to Tampa, let's kick off our culinary adventure with the Vietnamese eatery that has it all. From mouth-watering pho, delectable vermicelli dishes, and flavorful rice options, this place has your cravings covered. But wait, there's more. Inside, you'll also find a delightful bakery and a charming small market. Prepare to tantalize your taste buds and satisfy your foodie desires at Tin An Kitchen and Tofu. In addition to traditional dishes, they offer an impressive selection of appetizers and chef specials for main courses. And you know your boy loves him some banh mi's with a sugarcane juice. However, what truly captivates me is not only the boba that I will undoubtedly devour within 10 seconds after my meal, but also the bakery and grocery section. It's the ideal way to conclude your visit, leaving with a delightful treat for later enjoyment. If you're looking for the best sandwich or salad in town, look no further. For 60 years, the menu at this next spot is piled high with a variety of award-winning sandwiches, as well as soups, salads, and decadent desserts. Wright's Gourmet House. On the list of 27 specialty sandwiches, each prepared cold, grilled, hot, or toasted, Standouts include the classic beef martini, with rare roast beef, mushrooms marinated in white wine, and crisp bacon slices with garlic and herb butter on butter crust white bread. Or try the Golden Gate, with roast pork, crisp bacon, Jarlsberg cheese, German dill pickle slices, and lettuce on their homemade mustard sauce topped with peach chutney on pumpernickel bread. For sweets, get a cupcake or two with a variety of options, or get a slice of their famous Hawaiian princess cake. So if you're willing to endure a line that rivals a theme park just to get your hands on one of those delicious right sandwiches, just know that it will be worth it. The ongoing Cuban sandwich crisis has ignited a fierce battle between Miami and Tampa, each claiming to be the true birthplace of the legendary Cubano. But let's be honest, does it really matter who invented it when both cities offer an abundance of its hammy, cheesy goodness? When it comes to getting my fix in Tampa, I go to Flan Factory. Now, most people may recommend La Teresita if you're looking for Cuban food, and I wouldn't disagree, but I just love the menu and laid-back vibe at the Flan Factory more. 
There's all day breakfast, including their breakfast Cuban sandwich with eggs, Swiss, and your choice of meat, as well as over a dozen mouth-watering sandwiches for lunch and dinner, like a Tampa-style Cubano, the El Tempeño, with slow roasted pork, salami, serrano ham, Swiss, pickles, mayo, and mustard, or the Island Boy, a Cuban-style po' boy with coconut shrimp, lettuce, tomato, and key lime tartar sauce. Oh, and don't forget about their awesome flan too. They switch up the flavors every week, so there's always something new to try. It's the perfect sweet treat to enjoy with your cafe con leche or horchata after dinner. Next up, I proudly present an authentic Sicilian restaurant that transports you straight to Italy. And when I say imported, I mean it in every sense of the word. From wine, cheese, and olive oil to the furniture and paintings, everything has been meticulously sourced from family businesses in Sicily at Casa Santo Stefano. Here, you can discover Tampa's best Italian cuisine, offering a diverse menu and exceptional cocktails. Now, let me take a second to talk about groupers. No, not gropers. I'm talking this beady-eyed little beauty. It's a popular fish in Florida, especially in Tampa, and you can often find it on the menus of many restaurants in the area. I mean, it's Florida. You're literally surrounded by water and all you can think about is this ugly thing. Well, whether you're familiar or not, Stefano's grouper al limon entree is everything. Sauteed in lemon butter sauce with capers and white wine. But if you want to go with something more classic, there's plenty of pasta for all your cheesy carb-loaded cravings downstairs, where you can feast on a restaurant's full menu, while upstairs is the happening spot for drinks. It's a great place to chill and grab an awesome cocktail while soaking in those incredible sunset views. If you're looking for a more casual and cheaper option, I got you covered. Since 2019, they've been running a coffee roastery and beer brewery. On top of that, they also dish out delicious cafe food all in a converted 1950s gas station building. King State, open from 8 a.m. to midnight, Monday through Saturday, you can ensure there's a convenient time for anyone to drop by. Whether you're an early riser or a night owl, they've got you covered with all day breakfast options and some fantastic sandwiches to go with specialty coffee drinks, beer, wine, or cocktails, whatever kind of vibe you're going for. If you're coming for a cafe style breakfast or lunch, don't miss out on their delicious breakfast sandwich and cheesy grits combo. If you're more into the day drinking or vibrant nightlife scene, just make sure to check out their Instagram to stay up to date with the latest happenings. From live music to pop-up events and everything in between, you'll find out what's going on and never miss a beat. When it comes to classic hole-in-the-wall burger joints, it doesn't get any better than this. Since 2016, this black-owned burger spot has been one of the hottest must-try destinations in Tampa. Here, you can indulge in a gourmet cheeseburger experience bursting with incredible flavors, all without the hefty price tag typically associated with such quality. The Burger Spot. To truly understand what all the hype is about, you can opt for the single, double, or even triple burger. But if you're feeling adventurous, prepare yourself for the mind-blowing gourmet creations. Take for instance the Pizza Burger, a quarter pound patty topped with pizza sauce, pepperoni, Canadian bacon, and white American cheese, all sandwiched between buttery grilled Texas toast. And if you think that's gonna give you a heart attack, brace yourself for the glazed one. Available on Friday and Saturdays only, it's a cheeseburger nestled between a crispy cream glazed donut bun. Yes, it's a daring choice that just may reduce your life expectancy, but it is so worth it. Lastly, we have a modern homestyle Japanese restaurant where you can build your own Asian style bowls and enjoy dishes like Hiroshima Chop Chop style okonomiyaki, Japanese curry, katsu, and more. It's a delightful spot for those craving authentic Japanese flavors in a contemporary setting. Chonko. Okonomiyaki is a savory Japanese pancake dish cooked on a teppan. Unlike Osaka style, Hiroshima style okonomiyaki includes a layer of yakisoba noodles. Not in the mood for a Japanese flavor frisbee? Then keep it simple with the rice bowl. With tiger slaw, pickles, sesame seeds, and a choice of sauce and protein, like chicken, karage, beef, shrimp, pork belly, and more. It's a hassle-free self-serve experience with user-friendly touchscreens and clear signage, ensuring a smooth, humanless ordering process. Decades ago, when Chonko operated as the Ayers Diner, they preserved the booth where Elvis Presley once had dinner after a concert in 1956. Neat. Need a coffee suggestion? 
we have Tampa's most beloved coffee brand and roaster. With multiple locations around town, they source and roast carefully selected beans on site, offering a variety of espresso drinks and snacks. Buddy Brew Coffee. There's almost a dozen spots scattered throughout the city catering to your needs. Whether you're in search of a steamy brew to accompany your adventure or simply seeking a quick fix nearby. I personally love their Oxford Exchange branch, situated in a fashionable Hyde Park neighborhood. Oxford Exchange is a trendy hangout spot that's worth a visit in its own right. It boasts a lively bookstore, an apothecary, champagne bar, and an exceptional restaurant, all housed within a stylish, contemporary European-inspired space. Being one of the top-rated destinations in Tampa, it is a must-try. For a delectable dessert option, let's venture across the interstate to the other side of Ybor. There, we can explore the esteemed cafe that has been in operation since 1915. They specialize in Cuban bread and also offer a delightful array of sandwiches, cookies, and pastries, La Segunda Central Bakery. In addition to their mouth-watering Cuban sandwiches, metanoches, and freshly baked Cuban bread loaves, this establishment also boasts an impressive selection of endless desserts. From tempting cakes to delightful pastries, they have an array of sweet treats to satisfy any dessert lover's cravings. Cookies to irresistible guava pastries, they offer a wide variety of treats. Listen, when a bakery has a website with a dedicated tab just for freshly made loaves of bread, you know they're the real deal. Moving on to the bars and nightlife section, heading downtown, you'll discover a captivating and intimate haunt with a romantic atmosphere serving amazing food and a wide array of mixed drinks, beer, and wine but also boast a specialty in gin. Whether you're a gin aficionado or simply seeking a speakeasy-like and charming setting, then this bar is the spot. CW's Gin Joint. They open at 5 p.m. on six days of the week, closing around midnight and staying open until 2 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. So if you're looking to enjoy a meal or even a snack like a charcuterie board, they have you covered. But we're here for them sweet juniper libations, such as the Queen Bee featuring gin, banana liqueur, pimento dram, lemon, honey simple syrup, and egg white. Another tantalizing option is the Peaches Be Crazy, made with elderflower gin, lime, honey simple syrup, peach bitters, and basil. You can even get a gin and tonic flight, where you can choose any four gins of your choosing from their gin matrix. Yeah, they may take their gin game a little too seriously, but really it's just a cool bar with some killer drinks. Now, we have Florida's premier indoor shuffleboard bar and restaurant, boasting an impressive array of amenities, including four regulation-sized indoor shuffleboard courts and two outdoor courts. Step inside to discover a full kitchen and bar that offers an extensive selection of beer, wine, liquor, and rotating taps to cater to every taste. At Shuffle, it's the place where you can drink, sweat, and snack your heart out while engaging in the elegant art of disc sliding. They even offer two distinct brunch experiences. On the first and third Sundays of the month, enjoy the Wu-Tang and Biscuits brunch. And on the second and fourth Sundays of the month, you can savor the Jazz Rehab brunch. If you're looking to play some shuffleboard for groups of eight or more, I highly recommend making reservations in advance. The cost to reserve a court is $60 per hour. And if you're a walk-in, the price is $40 per hour. Or if there's only two of you playing, the rate is $20 per hour, last time we checked. So if you're looking for a spot that expertly combines the the ambience of a retirement home with the enjoyment of pounding beers, then check out this spot. Up next is a cocktail bar known for its expertise in both classic and innovative drink recipes. They strive to create personalized cocktails for guests and are open late five nights a week, including weekends until 3 a.m. So get ready to get into some trouble at Mandarin Heights. Indulge in timeless classics like a mule, espresso martini, or the old Cuban. Or keep an eye out for limited time drinks, such as the recent Rise and Shine, crafted with shoju, gin, cucumber sake, ume plum, lemongrass, mint, orgeat, and lemon. Or their recent Brooklyn's Finest, a tantalizing blend of cognac, rye, cardamaro, velvet falernum, lemon oil, and vanilla bean bitters. The drinks get really creative here, and the choices are sure to impress. They even create a new cocktail list every Tuesday for guests to enjoy, so you know they're legit. If you're still in a mood for gaming, let's explore this arcade bar. Established in 2016, it holds the distinction of being Tampa's OG arcade and craft beer bar. Devoted to delivering top-notch classic arcades, a wide selection of craft beers, and unforgettable events, Lowry Parkade. 
For beer lovers, their menu focuses primarily on local breweries, highlighting the wide range of styles Florida breweries offer. The arcade is packed with classic, nostalgic games that will transport you back in time with pinball machines constantly rotating, providing fresh and exciting options, as well as skee-ball, air hockey, bubble hockey, and other unique and uncommon games to enhance your gaming experience. So it's a cool spot to visit with the family if you want to sit back and have a beer while the arcade takes care of entertaining your kids. This final recommendation is a bar with ample indoor and outdoor seating, the perfect place to enjoy your favorite cocktails, beers, thin and crispy pizzas, and more. Whether you dine in al fresco in the beautiful beer garden or inside the inviting air-conditioned restaurant bar, you're guaranteed a good time at New World Tampa. This is the ultimate destination for live music enthusiasts. Their craft beer selection is vast, offering something for everyone, as well as full cocktail lists for those who prefer mixed drinks. They offer a variety of shows, including both free and paid performances, both indoors in the music hall, or you can soak up the vibrant atmosphere outdoors on the beer garden stage. With shows happening multiple times throughout the week, there's always something exciting to experience. So there you have it, from stunning beaches to a lively nightlife, Tampa really has it all. Just watch out for Florida Man. By clicking the join button on my channel page, you can now become a member and gain exclusive access to my Discord server. Not only will you be able to support and help me create more awesome content, but you'll also have the opportunity to chat with me and other members of our community on Discord. Plus, you'll get to weigh in on what you want to see more of on this channel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and while you're at it, comment which city I should do next down below.